boxing today, looking to win that assessment, looking to get himself placed on the podium squad, looking to get himself lifted from Scottish team to the GB team. Looks very nervous. Let's get back to the MC. And we welcome to the ring now, boxing out of the red corner, representing Great Britain, Tom Whitaker Hart. Tom Whitaker Hart from the Rotunda Club in Liverpool, already part of the GB system. A deceptive looking boxer, a deceptive looking young man. So far this evening, we've had eight contests. This is number nine. No stoppages, no knockdowns. As the boys get bigger, the punches get harder. You're watching on Box Nation. GB Elite Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, bout number nine is an elite contest at 81 kilograms of three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you, first of all, boxing out of the blue corner, representing Scotland from Byron, ABC, he is the Three Nations Champion and 2016 TAMA Tournament Silver Medalist, Boris Crichton. And introducing to you now his opponent boxing out of the red corner, representing Great Britain from Rotunda. He is the 2016 England National Champion and Golden Gong 2016 silver medalist, Tom Whitaker Hart. So here we go, Richie. It's the light heavyweights, Joshua Boatsy's weight, the big boys. The men that carry that, just that little bit of extra power. Tom Whitaker Hart carries that little bit of extra, extra experience. Tom Whitaker Hart has uh, played a big part in Joshua Boatsy's um, preparation for the Rio Olympics. Good sparring partner. He's suffered a few injuries here and there in the last 12 months, Steve, but he is, his technique is very good indeed. He reminds me of Callum Smith, actually. Callum yeah. Smith was from the same club, Rotunda, in Liverpool, a tremendous Same weight as an amateur like yeah, heavy. Tremendous, you know, um, the Rotunda club, yeah, the same weight. And he boxes similar, tall, very accurate with his work, good technique, good boxing technique. Doesn't waste a lot, Rich. Technically you know. perfect. So Crichton here has got to move the head most certainly. Got it looks like he's got to get get to his man here as Crichton. He's, uh, he's at a disadvantage in terms of his height, yep. so that wasn't too bad from there. Crichton doubling up the jab, moving the feet into range. So he's got to get up to Tom Whitaker Hart. But this um, with a fuddling is very good with his jab, good straight puncher. Tom Whitaker Hart. I think Tom's looking to drop that right hand in over that low left guard. But uh, Boris is low left guard, but more than that, I think he's looking to drop the right hand in up the middle as, as, as he comes forward. Of course, that's a terrific shot. Tricky shot, you leave yourself exposed to the big left hook if that's what Boris chooses to throw. He's got to take a risk, Boris. Mitchell is going to get picked off and bashed up here on the outside. I mean, he's got to look for that right hand over the top, but he's got to watch that he doesn't lean forward and too much, Steve, one. because he could walk in, into a bolo shot that, downstairs. If you watch um, Tom Whittaker hard, he'll throw that, that right up a cut come bolo shot. There it was there, right on cue. That's the shot you've got to watch out for if you're leaning over, trying to land the right hand over the top. There it is again, look, you see? That's a good shot, isn't it? Yeah, Crichton comes forward. And if he just lifts that left elbow with his, that's when and he does Whitaker Hart as he will, comes yeah, will land that, that bolo shot in. Oh, 
Oh, that's a lovely right-hand counter there that, that Tom throws. It missed that time, but he's timing it. He's, it's getting closer and closer each time he throws it, Rich. So you can see what I, what I said earlier about him being like, a bit like Callum Smith. Callum Absolutely. Smith from the Rotunda Club, they're very well coached at Rotunda. You can just see it through, through the ranks, if you like. Well-schooled, good from the, from chap. the 11-year-old yeah. all the way through. Great technical boxers. Another one here, Mutigar coming off that, that is. conveyor belt. A fairly straightforward round there for Tom Whittaker. Just knew a little bit too much, was just a little bit too sensible. Boris Crichton didn't do anything wrong, just didn't do enough of whatever it was he was doing. Richie needs to take a risk, but not a dangerous risk. He needs to get his feet in first. Bit surprised with the scores there. I, I, that's, the that's the first time that I've been surprised by any round of scoring so mm. far this evening. But a split. One judge went that way. Yeah. Still can't complain. Judge C for me, I thought, got it right. But uh, there you go, it's one of them, isn't it? Crichton was well, certainly in the round. Landed some good shots, but for me, Whitaker Hart there. A bit unlucky to lose that round with the two judges because the better scoring punches I thought came from him. Well, this is not like an international amateur tournament, Richie, like the Olympics or the Europeans where the coaches get access to the scores. It doesn't look like they're getting access to the scores. Of course, that will stop in January of next year. No more scores available for people to see so what i can imagine is that means if we're working at ringside at the commonwealth games which are the europeans the worlds or the olympics we will also not have access to the scores because we could then parlay them down to the ringside like the cubans have been doing for 40 years <laughs> 40 years those cubans have been doing that this is better work actually for, for, for Triton now Whittaker, Tom Whittaker is starting to, to miss occasionally with that lead hand. And if he falls in, that's when Crichton comes back with uh, a couple of good shots. So Whittaker has got to keep doing, Steve. He's got to keep hitting the target with that first shot. That jab's so important. I, I still don't think he has to overcommit, Rich. I still don't think he has to go chasing. I still think he can win with a jab and a right hand. Then another thing, and a jab and a right hand in the set. He's taking, he's taking the swings on his gloves. This is a better round, Steve. Yes, the Scots right here, the way he's Very boxing. Yeah, the Scottish corner there saying excellent work. I agree with him. Excellent, up. Boris. Good work there from Crichton. Different fighter yeah, this yeah, round, Richie. Different fighter. Yeah. Tom Whittaker just probably making the mistake of holding the feet a little bit too long there. Trying to land the jab. He misses with the jab, but the feet stand still. Stay still, rather. And that's allowing Crichton to come back. So it's a much better round. And if he's won the first round up to this stage... He's walked this round. Yeah, up to now. There's a minute to go still, Steve. All to do for Tom Whittaker here from the Rotunda Club in Liverpool. He's lost the first round. Two of the judges' scorecards. He's losing this round. He's allowing himself to get picked up. He's allowing himself to get out bullied. Oh, we just held, it, held his feet too long again. We took a heart there. Right, and come back. The one thing for sure, Steve, if you hold your feet against the Scottish lad, then that suits him. He prefers that toe-to-toe -to -toe stop. Absolutely. He, he is the he's rough and tough. He's rough and tough, yeah. He's rough and tough. Nothing illegal, though, Rich. There's no elbows going in. There's no, there's no shoulders. There's nothing low going in. There's no heads going in. It's all clean, but it's all tight, and it's all hurtful. The big thing is, Steve, here, if, if Crichton can keep this going in, in the last round, it's going to be a big round this last round coming well, it, up. It might not need to, Rich, if, he, if, he, if he's going ahead, if he's ahead on two of the scorecards going I'm talking going about the fitness, last. Steve, I'm talking about fitness, the, the odd sign of him with the way he's walking back. And especially as Tom, Tom Whittaker Hart is a GB boxer, a guy you've had inside the system. We might have the first mild shock of the evening, Richie. Yeah, well... He thought Tom Whittaker Hart edged the first round. He didn't get it, but he, he certainly did. didn't win this second round. Okay. And look at that. 
Let's have a look. Exactly oh. what we thought. Oh, well, Judge C has gone, has gone to Hart, hasn't he? So, gone for Whitaker Hart. No, 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 actually, all, all three have gone in that round for Crichton because... Of course, cause, you're cause, right, Steve, cause, yeah. Because ju Judge C ha had given the first round That's right, uh, to yeah. Tom Whitaker Hart. So we have a situation here where... But we agreed that, didn't we, in that second round? Oh, we absolutely. Crichton there won was that no problem. Round. We thought Crichton won that round. He allowed himself... He held his feet too long, as you said. He got caught five or six times by flowing to four or five. <laughs> nothing that hurtful, nothing that had him teetering hurt or in danger of going over, but he was just getting caught too often. I, don't, I still don't think he needed to chase. I think he went a bit, he, he got too close at the start of that second round. Once he got himself caught, he couldn't break the habit. He kept getting caught. Just held his feet for too long, didn't That's he? That's what he did, Richard. Can he try and keep this going? Can he keep the work rate up? <laughs> Boris initiate, Boris lead in, and I would agree with the entire Scottish contingent here. Get close and work hard. Corner saying sloppy Boris just gets caught with a one-two and then downstairs. So Whitaker is still not out of this again. He's working a little bit better. Brighton has got to rally. He's got to keep it going. He's probably got to push Whitaker back also. He's got a deceptively strong and tight defence, Boris Crichton. The Scottish box here. Three Scottish losers so far. This is about nine. Will Boris Crichton end that? I think he will at the moment. He moves his feet well, which you know he's landing those two or three short shots. He then moves away, doesn't leave himself there. Doesn't admire his work. Yeah, now he's rallying his knees coming back. Up until this point. The heart was having some success, has some more there, but Crichton is starting to rally now. Got just over a minute. This would be classed as an upset, Steve, no question. But it's a tight round, because we, we thought that Tom Whitaker Hart had won the first round. Not by last, we thought he'd won that. We thought Crichton had won the second. This third is open to debate, open to dispute. I think we'll see one of the corners very angry, very upset at the end of this round. Good shots, good shots, yeah, good shots he's busy this kid. Yeah, it's at the heart, just choosing the wrong tactics there, standing and trading. Just gets caught, he's there to be hit. Oh, but that was a nice shot there. Bolo shot from Whitaker Hart again. But this this type of contest is suiting Crichton. He needs Absolutely. At this Whittaker stage, Hart to at this stand stage. there. Yeah. Hard, hard fight. The big lads delivered. A toe-to-toe -to -toe fight from the second round on. And Boris Crichton, the Scottish boxer, they've had three losers, the Scottish team. I believe that's their first winner. GB boxer Tom Whittaker Hart got dragged in. And once he got dragged in, that was Boris Crichton's plan. That was where he felt comfortable, the big lad from Scotland. A smile on his face. Hard last round as hard, well, wasn't it, Steve? Second hard last. Yeah, very hard indeed. Third was really hard, yeah. That was a gruesome hard round, that, Richie. Yeah, he had a good second round, this fella. We didn't think he won that first round, but he got it. But the second round, he most certainly did. But it wasn't a bad decision. Let's get it that right. It was not a bad decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner as the result of a split decision. Blue Corner, Crichton! Well, you saw the relief and the joy on Crichton's face. You also saw that moment when Tom Whitaker Hart, right in front of us here, just closed his eyes. He got it wrong this evening. It's that simple. It happens. It's what Anthony Fowler did.
last time at the